So we're here today with uh, Yuna, of course, uh, touring Singapore for her followers tour. And Yuna, so welcome back to Singapore. Thank you so much. So what prompted the recording for Materials? Uh, well, Material is an album that it's a compilation of a lot of uh, Malay songs that I did not get to um, release uh, previously in my previous projects, you know, in my previous albums because they were like um, exclusively for movies, for films, for Malaysian films and for you know other projects, for um, like a, a short film uh, festival uh, and uh, what else? Yeah, so these are the songs that I actually have in, in my hands but I couldn't release it um, formally to the fans, you know, so um, I came up with material which is kind of like a compilation of everything that I that I had with me and um, it's just easier access to the fans who want to listen to new Malay songs and um, uh, yeah, I'm really happy that I managed to do that, you know, at least like I, you know, I'm not like gone in LA and I, I didn't contribute anything to my country, you know what I mean, to the local music scene. Um, so yeah, that's how material came up. Mm -hmm. In our last interview with us, uh, you said that Falling was the song that meant the most to you at that point in time. Oh yeah. So I was wondering, has things changed while you were reworking stuff for Material? Well, you know, like uh, Material is, uh, like I said, you know, it's a more of a Malay album and uh, Nocturnal is obviously my US release. You know, I'm really happy that I managed to release Nocturnal like two years ago and, uh, you know, that's like another uh, side of me that you know I'm trying to show musically and then material is something that's more um, you know fans local fans can relate to so you know there's these two things that I feel like yeah you know like fans should be able to embrace both of them together so yeah we know that you put out a Drake cover recently so is there any plans in the pipeline to maybe collab with Rick or maybe Tyler the creator because we know you're tight, right? Oh yeah, uh, well I don't know, it would, be, it would be really, that would be really cool to be able to work with Drake, you know, like he's definitely very talented and um, you know he's always up to something so I have a feeling that if we got in touch, maybe it, that could be a possibility, you know, there, there could be a possible um, a collaboration um, together but I don't know we'll see you know like it's sometimes like you think it's really really hard to get in touch with someone and then collaborate with them but then it's like oh wow that that was easy you know like it's, you'll, just, you'll just never know your luck and Pharrell in case yeah in for example like you know uh, yeah Pharrell and then uh, and recently I got the opportunity to work with Usher and for this new album that I'm working on and so yeah, you know, you, you'll never know, you just have to ask sometimes, you know, like, hey, Asher, do you want to work with me? And he's like, yeah, okay. Well, you know, like sometimes it's just as simple as asking. So um, yeah, well, we'll see, I don't know. You know, cover albums are all the rage these days, thanks to Ryan Adams' 1989 mm -hmm. cover. If you were given a chance to cover a, your favorite album, what would it be? Wow. Um, cover an album? Um, you know what? It would be Coldplay. Can I can, oh. can I cover Coldplay? Oh, sure, of course. <laughs> uh, any particular <laughs> album in mind? Probably X and Y. Uh -huh. yeah, that's, that's my favorite. Yeah. And do you see a do you see a distinct style, or do you want to do it in a particular mold? Uh, I don't know because I feel like okay, maybe like 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 you said, you know, like stripped down, like super simple and acoustic. Probably that would be that would be something that I would do. Nice. So maybe like a little bit of electronic, um, uh, you know, flavor to it. So I don't know. I don't know. That'll be cool. <laughs> so give us a little taste. And we know you're working on your next album. Mm -hmm. What can we expect from Yuna? Uh, well, my next album will be um, very urban. I think you know that's oh. a yeah. That's the most urban that I can do. <laughs> I guess <laughs> because. 
I don't know, like I've always like, um, I started, not a lot of people know, like I started out, you know, being a part of an um, a cappella group, an all girls, uh, all girls a cappella group. This was 10 years ago, like a long time ago. And uh, I was really heavy on like Destiny's Child and Aaliyah and you know, and not a lot of people know that. So uh, it's kind of nice to go back into that. And um, I've been listening to a lot of like early 2000 R&B music and 90s R&B music. And I use that as my inspiration, you know? So uh, yeah, I'm excited to release this album. It'll be out hopefully um, in February 2016. So yeah. And that may probably explains why Usher is uh, helping you yeah, out. Yeah, so yeah, I'm excited. You know, we have Usher and um, uh, hopefully, an, you know, another collaboration. Hopefully, I know we have time. So, uh, yeah. So, thank you. Thanks a lot, Yuna. Hey guys, I'm Yuna and you're watching Ben Wagon. And I